The book of Matthew and the book of Luke both track Jesus' ancestors through Joseph, either back to Abraham or back to Adam. Now, they do this for a very important reason. It says in the prophecies about the Messiah that he will descend from the lineage of David. Yet, here's a very kind of odd thing that it does. It tracks the lineage of of Jesus' ancestors first through Joseph, not through Mary. And as we know, Jesus was born of a virgin. So by that definition, his ancestors could only be tracked through Mary and not tracked through Joseph. The problem with this, though, is that that is true for us modern Westerners. That's maybe how we would view it. But in Jewish culture, If I were to adopt a child, he not only becomes part of my family, but he becomes part of my lineage, as if he was my biological kid. Therefore, since Joseph and Mary would get married, and then obviously Joseph was Jesus' earthly father who raised him, his, Jesus's, that is, lineage would be tracked through Joseph. It's a pretty simple answer to a question I think many of us have whenever we read the Christmas story. But here's how it gets even neater, is that in Romans, it talks about how we are adopted into the sonship of Christ. In other words, we become part of God's family once we get saved. And in the same way, that God viewed Jesus as coming from the Messiah because he was adopted by his earthly father, Joseph. We get to be a part of God's family because we have been adopted in through the grace of Jesus Christ. And that means that when we go to heaven, we're not going to be in awe and reverence of God. We're going to be in awe and reverence of our Father who sits in heaven. This is why the Bible tells us that we should cry out, Abba, or in other words, Daddy. When we pray, this intimate, close relationship, because we've been adopted into the sonship of Christ. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then leave a like. And if you didn't know, I'm reading through the entire Bible with you in the hopes that we can grow in our love of Christ together. Check that out in the description if you want to learn more.